Hi there, YouTube. I want to share a free AI art tool that I felt went under the radar for a lot of people. You might have heard of it at some point, but the release was overshadowed by a plethora of major AI events hitting the scene at the same time. Between Midjourney version 5, Stable Diffusion Control Net, GPT-4, Baby AGI, Llama, Alpaca, Auto GPT, GPT for All, Runway MLs Gen 1 and Gen 2, Google Bard, and then for good measure, Midjourney added three new features and, and the list keeps going. And this all happened in a month's time frame, about a month. You might have missed the fact that Bing actually got its own AI art tool, which is highly accessible, free, and it's also powered by Dolly. You know, the tool that charged by the image, which was the most expensive one, which led to its decline in popularity, and now it's free on Bing. The irony is overwhelming. Anyways, all you need to run this thing is a Microsoft account, which you should have if you're running Windows, unless you have the pirated version of Windows, which I say to you. just making a new account. I mean, it doesn't really stop you from making an account, right? So let's take a look at the most accessible and easy to use AI art tool that's free and already ready for you to use. So you might already know that Bing Chat, which is like online chat GPT, is on bing.com. And it now comes standard with a new version of Edge browser. And if you didn't know that, check out my video description and you get up to speed. Also, you see that thing at the top right of your Edge browser that looks like a blue bee? Well, that's actually a tool that actually allows you to access Bing Chat at any time when you're on the new Edge browser. I say that like you know most people have the edge browser but um if you do run the edge browser you will see that what you might not know is you can type in the word create followed by anything that you want to see and just press enter and just like that dolly 2 will create you an images actually four images and you could choose the best one as you can see it says i'll try to create that and now it's saying your image is generating and in about five or six seconds i should have an image pretty fast i mean the most it's ever taken was like 10 to 20 seconds and here i got my landscape painted by picasso and tim burton on a moonlit night so it's pretty cool uh, i think it did a pretty good job it's no mid journey version 5 but it's still dollies which is pretty decent all right so i tried it in the bing chat toolbar and it just kind of gave me some wallpapers of other people's photos so i guess you got to do it in bing.com but there's another way to do this which will give you a little bit more tools and as well as uh, some advice on how to create pictures and you can do this through the bing create website another way to use this tool and perhaps the better way is to go to bing create and if you forget the address just put bing.com and then dash create and then you'll get there so here we are at the website and you see some examples right off the bat right here there's some images that other people created and you could actually click on them to see what they use to create this photo the first thing to take note of is this lightning bolt, which is Bing Create's boost system. And basically, you just have 100 boosts a day, and that's for fast generation. When you run out, you can still create images. It just won't be as fast as it would be when you're using boost. But it refreshes every day, so you'll get 100 tomorrow. And it used to be 25, so it's pretty generous right now. I don't really see a lot of people running out of that 100 boosts per day. All you have to do is type something here in the chat. All right, so I type something out and I'm gonna press create. And as you can see, I lost about three boosts and it's starting to create. And there you go, there's my cyberpunk theme photo. Although the face looks like it's melting, but I gotta I got be honest, I'm still new to Dolly. So I haven't used Dolly in the past. I just knew it was a thing. One of the first AI image generators that kind of fell off the map uh, because they were a little bit too expensive. And when they lowered their price, they never had like an unlimited fee. So even though they had a lower price, like they weren't like unlimited, which kind of turned a lot of people off for some reason. Even even though you'd probably spend a lot less with Dolly, but it doesn't seem like uh, I know how to use this very well. So, but what I've noticed in the past is Dolly's strengths are more in photorealism and also abstract art from artists that in the past, if you use an artist's name, it does a pretty good job at that. Not so much at like the mid journey stuff and you know, this cyberpunk theme stuff and computer generated stuff. It also does good at anthropomorphic stuff for some reason. Like if you want to turn a corgi into a watermelon or some weird stuff like that. One cool thing that the website has here being create is the surprise me feature so you can actually just click on that and it'll just kind of generate a prompt for you so not only do you not need to know how to draw like you don't even need to be creative it'll just generate something for you uh for your creativity so once you get that just click on create and see what it gets you all right i take that back the system i guess is not that creative but you know it's just doing random stuff i'm sure if i try a few more actually let me try a few more because this one wasn't very creative i guess maybe it's artsy there's like this building in the middle of nowhere that's a mirror and it's like mirroring the desert or something i don't know i'm not very uh i'm a concrete thinker let's try another one all right so it's a boy wearing a yellow hat coat holding a balloon standing in front of a smoky volcano okay that's really random let's try that out digital art i don't know why digital but 
Let's try it out. All right, Dolly. All right. This one's a little bit better. It's a little creepy. I don't know what it, this is signifying. This is like something like, you know, you need like a dream kind of book to kind of read what, what this means. The balloons flying away. My life is kind of in destruction and chaos as I wear my yellow coat of protect. I don't, I don't know. This is a very strange photo, but you know, I love it. Kind of a mixture of like the it and that's like kind of Georgie. Never mind. If you didn't watch it, don't worry about it. But yeah, I think this one's a little bit better except for the hands here. It seems like he has three hands here, but maybe that's on purpose. I doubt it. I really feel like Dolly is kind of stuck in the past. I don't know what version of Dolly this is and it says Dolly 2 in the frequently asked questions um, but it doesn't seem like Dolly 2. But I mean the pictures are still pretty artsy and still okay. Let's try another surprise me one. So I'm going to click on surprise me again. And this time it says a surreal landscape of a man in front of a portal to another dimension. All right, let's see what where that goes. No pun intended. All right, it has like kind of like a Stargate vibe. Uh, I don't know. This is like another dream thing. Like uh, you're just like trying to enter. I'm not even going to try to interpret it. But um, but yeah, not bad for some random prompts. I'm sure chat GPT or Bing Create could actually come up with something better. I, it's probably Probably using Bing Create actually. Anyways, this was just a quick video to show you that this exists and that, you know, it might have kind of went under the radar for a lot of people. And you can do this directly from Bing Chat or you can do this from bing.com slash create. But go ahead and have fun with this tool and play with it and create some free Dolly images. And if you want to see some more videos from my channel, go ahead and check the video description. I have videos about Bing Chat versus Bard and also a lot of AI art stuff, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, and etc. etc. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.